21 editions and 10 years is what we have been implementing in the Association of European Sports Journalists, the APDE, the Advanced Course of Sports Journalism in Sports Events, where in this edition, 12 students have had the opportunity to cover high-level sports every weekend. Unique opportunity, and this gives me much more confidence to continue with the rest of my career without being afraid to speak in front of a microphone. I had a very negative perception of journalism compared to the one I have now. Now I have a much more professional perspective. I have finally been able to see this world from the inside. And I'm sure that everything I've seen today I'm going to see throughout my life so you can say that the course has been a real approach to the world of journalism. Well, I, without a doubt, a very positive experience. In the end, I think we have all learned a lot, especially the fact that some of us are still on our freshman year and that makes you want to study journalism even more. The Spanish basketball national team in Zaragoza, the Volleyball Kings Cup in Leganes, the Padel Hexagon Cup in Madrid, the Atletico de Madrid Lazio Champions League, ACB matches with Real Madrid basketball, and the semi-final of the Kings Cup between Atletico de Madrid and Athletic Club de Bilbao have been, among other events, the ones covered by the future journalists in this 21st edition. Personally, with the Copa del Rey semi-final between Atletico and Atleti, because it is a unique experience and very difficult to repeat. Well, if I had to highlight games, I would highlight all the field hockey. I have fallen in love with it a lot. I have been very impressed by the futsal, the great games I have lived of Inter, and especially the women's basketball, that if I had to dedicate myself to a sport right now, it would be that one, and especially women who I had never seen it on TV. I'm a Madrid fan, okay? But to see the Barca's girls play, the truth is it that it was an impressive experience and I had a great time. And the last game I covered was American football. The truth is that it was a very cool experience. I think I'll keep the rugby coverage I did with Diego Berruguete of the Spanish national team against Germany, especially for being there in the Complutense, which is also where I study, so I know it very well. Getting there so full of people, thousands of people, and also the invasion of the field at the end of the match, I will remember that coverage. The two alumni of the course, Pablo Lozano from Diario AES and Ruth Garcia from Autofacil, were the two speakers in this edition where they showed the students their experiences, their achievements and how to manage in this exciting profession. Well, I liked Pablo's one a lot because he told us more specifically what he did. His work in social networks, how Twitch worked a little bit in Diario AES and so on even his relationship or how he lives inside the newsroom will deal with Tomar Roncero, Carmen Colino and so on. From Ruth's visit I'd like to highlight what she explained to us about opportunities of never giving up because well all of us who have wanted to study journalism have been told at some point that this is a dead end that we shouldn't do it and well in the end if we try things will work out. From Pablo, I remember how he told us everything about what it is really like to work in the media from the inside, otherwise we could never know. And with Ruth, I keep her more personal experience, especially what she told us about being a woman in the world of motorsport, which at the end of the day, we know is hard. And Ruth gave me more of her personal experience. Ruth gave us some very realistic advice. She told us to pursue what we wanted, that a profession that everyone tells us that it is very complicated to get there and make a living out of it and I think she told us to keep fighting that in the end one way or another we were going to get it and from Pablo I tell us how it is to work in a newsroom the relationship inside and the atmosphere so you know if your passion is sports journalism this is your chance do not hesitate and contact us at Taller Periodismo Deportivo, tpd.eu, and live with us a unique experience.